It's a Pictionary style drawing and guessing game that human players can play along with our AI agent that we call Alan AI. The way the game works is that uh, there's, there's two players, Alan AI and a human partner. While you know there has been a lot of interest in the AI research community as using games as a test bed to test and evaluate AI algorithms, a lot of these games are adversarial in nature. So you're playing against a human player. Uh, the unique uh, thing about Iconary is that you're playing with the AI agent. One of our key themes is AI for the common good. And so we are interested in uh, researching AI algorithms that can be helpful and that can assist humans in everyday tasks. And uh, that's precisely one of the reasons why we feel that working on Iconary can help us develop those algorithms and also test them out. When you're playing Iconary, there is two modes. You can either choose to draw a phrase and Alan AI will guess it for you, or you can choose to guess a phrase. Uh, in which case you'll have to look at Alan AI's drawings. So let me take you through the first one where you can draw. So we see children singing in a classroom. This is how I'm going to choose to depict children. And then I want to show that the children are singing. Um, and so one way to show singing is to say, well, you know, I'm going to have some musical elements in my picture. So I'll have a couple of musical notes uh, thrown into my canvas. Um, but they're not listening to music, they're actually singing it. So I would like to show some sort of, you know, audio coming out instead of going in. So one way to do that is say, well, you know, maybe I'll show some speakers, right? So now this is my depiction of children singing, but it's still incomplete. Um, we'd like to show classroom. This is 2019. I'm told that uh, modern day classrooms have laptops in them. So I might uh, choose a laptop. Um, and then I'm going to say, okay, Alan AI, it's your turn now. Um, can you try to guess what I've drawn? And so Alan AI is thinking, and it starts saying people singing on a laptop. So you can see that it's got the verb singing. What it hasn't got is the location correctly. It thinks it's an office, which is reasonable because there's a laptop. What we need to do as Alan AI's partner is to be able to guide it towards the right answer. So I'm going to take um, some whiteboards or blackboards to show this is not an office, this is a classroom. It has now got the fact that it's a classroom. Um, so what's missing um, is the word children. And so at some point, Alan AI is going to say, I didn't quite get it, can you add something more or delete something? And let me try to convert my drawing so I can communicate the fact that they're not people, but they're younger people, right? One way to show younger people is to say, well, let me go all the way down super young. Let's go all the way to babies, right? So these aren't people, they're younger. Um, and so I'm gonna um, add a couple of icons um, for babies. And so now it, it correctly guessed that uh -huh. children are singing in a classroom. Wow.